birthday people i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support all right you birthday people let's go in and let's see what is transpiring all you occurrence that is born from the um, 8th of february until the 14th i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful likes and shares and support please share 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 this reading if you can't share, just thumbs up. Use the energy of thumbs up in order to get the reading um, going. Show thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful, beautiful year. What we have here and what is transpiring is that a lot of you are in the angman moment. Um, some of you are dealing with a scorpion woman and some sort of an emotion with a scorpion woman. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a whole lot of emotional situation. It could be a mom, whoever this, um, uh, some of you are dealing with a scorpion, some of you are dealing with a Pisces. And I see a whole lot of situation, a whole lot of problems um, that is going to be coming up. Is this your wife? Is this um, your mother? Or is this a aunt or your grandmother? A whole lot of problems. Then as we look in the other end of the cross, we have the Ace of Cups, um, uh, the Ace of Voice. And the Ace of Voice is about um, the source of truth information is coming in. Um, and uh, um, I see some sort of an emotional situation um, with a Scorpion woman, whoever the Scorpion woman is. I see she's carrying a lot of burdens. I see um, uh, she is open for any um, help and I see some sort of a um, message of emotional situation where some of you have to be helping this person out. So this year, and remember ladies and gentlemen, how this work is that wherever you begin, you begin on the 8th, the energy is that... Uh, um, the people who were born on the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, um, 13, 14. Uh, congratulations, you have Valentine's, you get Valentine's Day. Um, and um, when you work all these energies, so if you were born on the 8, you're going to be working this energy and then rework it until the end of uh, your next birthday season. Okay, so it's from this birthday until the next birthday. So that's how you work the energies. You're going to be all have to deal with everything that is going here twice and two twice. Twice um, that you're going to be dealing with this uh, in the same month of. Uh, so you will be receiving all of these messages. Uh, um, it's going to be affecting a whole lot of people. A whole lot of you are dealing with some sort of an emotional situation, okay? We have the Pisces woman, we have the hangman, and we have uh, um, the cancer woman, we have the scorpion woman. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with this person. Please remember to um, use the thumbs um, to um, extend this reading and share, share, share. We are first going to be looking at 8, 9, and 10. The people with 8, 9, and 10, the energies that you're going to be focusing with is that some sort of a communication is coming in. An end is here. It could be emotion for a cancer person. I see an end is here for a cancer person and a Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. I see a lot of you are going to be victoriously overcoming um, these people what they have done, how they have created a whole lot of issues and imbalance. And I see light is going to be shedding on a cancer person and a whole lot of money. A cancer person and a whole lot of money. Whatever they did with the money, however they got the money, I see light is going to be shedding on this cancer person and a whole lot of money. Um, so here is, uh, um, this year is going to be for people who were born 8, 9, and 10, it's going to be here, the, the news, news, news is coming in to tell you something about a cancer and an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man, what they have done, okay? Um, a lot of you could be coming out of this season having a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money. All right, let's go in it and check out for the people who were born 8, 9, and 10. For the people who were born on the 8th of... Uh, 
uh, February, we you have your own energy vibration of the magician. So you Aquarians um, who were born on the 8th of January, it's going to be a powerful year. It's going to be a good year. You're going to be overcoming whatever obstacles you are having with the Aries, you are a Sagittarius man. Whatever business you decide to build, it is a yes, go for it. If you decide to create anything, yes, um, go for it. Um, communication is going to be very clear. You are going to be communicating very clear. People are going to be recognizing who you are. Your communication is good and it's going to be on top. Whatever issues that you're going to be coming up with, whether your husband that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or your father, I see that you're going to be overcoming this because they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a false play and whoever was creating these false play, you recognize it right on time. So Aquarians, this is going to be an absolutely, absolutely fabulous time. This is going to be a good month. This is going to be a time when you are recognizing who you are. This year to your next birthday is going to be a time when you choose your sort of truth in order to create a better stability in your world. So congratulations. It's going to be a very successful year for you, um, Aquarians. Long-term stability is going to be coming in. You're going to be having a whole lot of long-term stability because of communication that is going to be bringing you a whole lot of long-term stability. As we move to the people who were born on the 9th of February, you are ending some sort of a cycle. A whole lot of messages are going to be coming in. A whole lot of you are going to be finding out something about a sister or a brother or a friend that is a um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. You are going to be overcoming whatever the issues is. Um, some of you could be ending a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion because you recognize that this person um, was not being, um, uh, you know, it's as if you recognize that this person, the relationship has now ended. Okay. Some of you are going to be falling in love in this year. This is going to be good. Whatever our chips, uh, problems you were creating, I say to you, um, you know, this year is when it is all going to be resolved. A lot of you are going to be balancing also your emotional situation, emotional pain that you had in the past is going to be leaving you. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's a good year to finish off projects. That is that sort of a thing that you have been doing. It's a good year to pick up something, learn something new. You will pass with eye colors. Okay. Let's see what is going to be coming up for you guys. The energy of the night is good and it's about messages, about um, things that is changing. You have 23, 21 and you have three and you're going to be also receiving a lot of message. I see some sort of a block is going to be coming up um, on a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpion person. Whoever this person is, some sort of a block is going to be coming up for this person. Then we're moving forward and we are looking at the people who are born under tent. Now you have the energy of the hermit. You are going to be in a hermit mode, but you are going to be shedding light on people and situation that have created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issue. Um, you are going to be finding out and seeing the truth of some sort of an unexplainable situation that was happening and transpiring. And you're going to be recognizing the power of you um, having the truth within your hands and it's going to be using this truth. A lot of people are going to be recognizing some sort of a secret um, that a cancer was uh, um, have or secrets about your partner and a whole lot of money. And I see that whatever the secrets is uh, um, for the cancer, the cancer is going to be blocked because they recognize the horrible play that a cancer have done and how a cancer have used their powers in the wrong way and took money on the false pretend. Light is now been shed. People are recognizing um, how much money this person have, where this person get this money. So a lot of you that was dealing, it could be with, with your partner, you're divorcing, you are going to be receiving a whole lot of money and a whole lot of stability and people are going to be recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. I see light is going to be shed and a whole lot of information is coming out about a 
Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian men. They're going to be recognizing what this man have done. Light is going to be shedding on a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, woman, and man. Um, this is a Scorpion couple. They're going to be recognizing the play that the Scorpion couple have done. Light is going to be shedding on a young Cancer also and how they collaborated and use and get money on the false pretend. So welcome to your year. You're going to be bringing back peace back in your world. You're going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpired, bringing back peace. Money is going to be good. Um, for you people that was born on the tent, you also have the tent of pentacles. Money is going to be extremely, extremely good. Wow. So it is beautiful. It is a, a cycle is going to be over and uh, dualities. But this duality is like with relationship, divorce, getting the money that you want. Peace is going to be coming in a wonderful alignment of uh, energy where people are going to be recognizing a whole lot of situation that was transpiring a young cancer whether this young cancer is going to be blocked this cancer is between the age of 18 and 45 all right ladies and gentlemen let looks at the people who were born on the 11th the 11th of february 11 to um 21 what is happening and transpiring is that you are in the hangman mode and the energy of the hangman mode um you are r recognizing something about a pisces cancer or a scorpion okay so the hangman mode is when you recognize that either your partner or a cancer person in your life have created a whole lot of things it's all coming out and you're going to be oh my god i i had no idea that this person was doing this and i see a whole lot of uh, ten of inspiration um is here where a whole lot of burdens uh, is going to be over because money is going to be coming back to you because they're going to be recognizing whoever this cancer is and whatever that was transpiring this cancer and block your financial flow and here money is just going to start flowing into you guys in this year and they're going to be also recognizing that a scorpion woman and a pisces woman have created some sort of a form of issue for you. Is this your mom? Is this your heart? Who are these people? Because especially the people who were born on the 11th of February, you are going to be dealing with some sort of an emotional situation, emotional burden, emotional situation that you're dealing um, with a, um, a Scorpion woman, a Pisces woman, and people are recognizing how they created a whole lot of issues. So it could be your haunt, it could be your wife, it could be your sister, it could be a friend, whoever these people are, people are going to be recognizing. You have the nine of cups in the reverse with a scorpion woman, whoever the scorpion woman is, um, you know, is not happy about something, but yeah, it is what it is. I see finally, you're going to be getting out of some sort of an issue where this woman was creating some sort of a problem for you. It is coming up as if this woman tried to take uh, your your emotional stability, okay? It's as if this woman was so jealous that she tried to took you down. And I see you're going to get out of the situation because they recognize that this woman was not honest. So, wow. All right. So um, you guys are really going to be dealing with some emotional situation with um, your mom, your grandparents, your wife. Um, a lot of you who have a wife that is a Cancer, a wife that is uh, um, a Pisces, a wife that is a Scorpion, you're going to be dealing with this person, okay? All right, let's move on. People who were born uh, 12, 13, and 14, you are working in collaboration. I see um, uh, you're trying to protect yourself, uh, you're standing your ground, your burdens is going to be over. You're going to be having a wonderful new start. I see the page of emotion, some sort of a emotional situation that could be coming up for a lot of you. And it has to do with money. I see the energy of uh, a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person, the energy of the devil. They recognize that this person have created a whole lot of issue for a lot of you. So you men recognize that you're going to be dealing with some sort of a negative thing 
and that there was secrecy that you were not aware of. So especially men, recognize what is coming up for you in this year. Then the secrecy is going to be coming out, the nine of voice. And the nine of voice is uh, the nine of swords, a whole lot of worries. So I see a lot of you men, some sort of a worries is going to be coming up for you men. Um, financial worries is going to be coming up for you men. Then I see burdens, a lot of burdens, a lot of burdens. And I see the energy of uh, you guys need to protect yourself. Whatever is coming at you, you need to protect yourself. Okay. So let's look at the people who were born on the 12th. Uh, you are going to be dealing with a negative forces. So that created a whole lot of burdens for you. And especially men are going to be feeling this action in this year. When we look at this negative forces, it has to do with a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion woman, and a whole lot of money. Whatever issues, you could have been divorced in this woman, and whatever issues you had with this woman, peace is going to be coming in. And I see that this woman have to pay you a whole lot of money because they recognize uh, the dishonest play of a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion woman, and how she used the negative energies in order to come cooperate and collaborate and you need to protect yourself okay i see an end is going to be coming into this negative energy um there you have the nine of inspiration and the nine of voice um this woman the person that is sending you negative energy or you're dealing with that have negative energy is a scorpion woman and i see that this energy you're going to this energy is coming to an end because people are going to be recognizing that this scorpion woman is the one that is sending you negative energy, okay? Um, so be aware of that. So a lot of you, an end is going to be coming in to the negativity that you were going through, to the dishonest play that you were going through, the dishonest situation that was being created. A lot is going to be going in. Some of you men um, could be going in same-sex relationship, the possibility is here. Some of you men who are in same-sex relationship, you're going to be recognizing um, that uh, um, you were controlled by the devil. A lot of you men is going to be recognized that you were controlled by the devil and someone is going to be breaking it for you and releasing you out of an orba ordeal that you have been going through. So congratulations. So men... This year is going to be really affecting a lot of you men and a lot of you men is going to be recognizing what was happening. Um, as we go to the people who were born on the 13th, 13 is a good number, ladies and gentlemen. It is the angel number. A new start is going to be coming in. Your burdens is going to be over. The problems you were going through um, is going to be coming to an end because a lot of you were going through a lot of burdensome issues and problem. I see the message of love is going to be coming in. I see a lot of people are going to be, you know, apologizing and expressing, um, you know, their, uh, their sympathy because they have recognized the burdens that you have gone through and how people try to take your uh, happiness and joy away from you. And I see people are going to be coming back and apologizing to what has happened i see a new start and whatever the burdens was with your financial situation this is going to be over because i see money is going to be coming back and you're going to be taking this money and it's going to be creating some sort of a new start for yourself and going to be understanding um the issues and problems that was transpiring and how you are now getting out of it because you are going to be financial stable there we go. I said it. I said it. Wow, wow, wow. So a lot of you are going to be financial stable. You're going to be, this year is going to be a year where money is not going to be a problem, okay? It's as if you have it. You're not flaunting it. Hold it. Keep it. Don't let people know um, what has transpired. Don't leave, let people know, um, you know, what you have gone through and that you have this money. A big payout is going to be coming in for you people that is born in the 13th um, sometime in the year. Um, this is why I said always order your personal reading, your birthday readings. Then I can tailor it and tell you exactly what are the lucky months, what are 
um, when money is coming in and that sort of a thing. So um, congratulations. So, um, you have um, nine a cycle is going to be over. You're going to be having a brand new start and money is going to be returning and coming back to you. Let's look at the people who were born on Valentine's Day. February 14, we have secrecy. Some sort of a secret lover could be here. Some sort of a you, some sort, some of you could be having some sort of a secret affair um, that is coming up. I see they're going to be recognizing secrets of a um secrets you men have some sort of a secret love or a secret affair, okay? And I see you're too open. You men are too open. You need to recognize that people are aware that you have some sort of an affair going on. So you got to be careful. You got to be on top of your game. You got to recognize what is going on. Then we see the energy of the moon. Secrecy, secrecy, secrecy. This energy of the moon, a whole lot of secrets. I see secret affair. A whole lot of people um, could be seeing other people, but yet still I see love is going to be coming in. And I see someone who had always wanted to have a child um, and you were not fertile. You're going to be very fertile in this year. So that is going to be wonderful. Then we see the voice and the voice is about, um, you know, the inner voice could be helping you to heal your inner child this year. And this is going to be uh, um, wonderful. Um, what is also happening is that some of you are going to be also be, you know, it's a year where financial stability is going to be coming back to some of you who this was taken away from and the energy of the voice you need to stop worries a lot of you are worried if your secret affair is going to be coming out and um i see um some sort of a conflict could be coming in um some sort of a information um why you are worried some sort of a secret could have come out and this is the reason why you are worried so um, you know, be aware of why it's transpiring. You know, don't take life so, so serious. And uh, whoever has secrets that was born on the 14th, it is going to be coming out in this year. So, you know, try and work on it. And it's going to create a lot of conflicts, but yet still work on it. Uh, um, you know, do not back away and do not back down. Um, you know, just speak up, make your point, speak up. And um, you will be okay. All right. So wonderful alignment of energies. Um, it is going to be a powerful year. And you're all working under this zodiac energy. And it's going to be a very, very powerful year. Um, you know, endings are coming up. But there's definitely that a block is going to be placed on a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, whatever is transpiring. They are going to be blocking this cancer because they recognize what this cancer have done. And they're going to be blocking this cancer. They're going to be blocking um, a Aries, the Sagittarius men because they recognize the foul play that they have done and how they have created a whole lot of problems. Um, and this is a situation that is going to be recognized. So they're going to be blocking a Pisces, an Aries, the Sagittarius man. A young Pisces Cancer Scorpion person, a whole lot of you are going to be released from some sort of a problem um, that these people have created for some of you. Peace is going to be coming in. Money is going to be returning to you. They recognize um, that someone else had used your information in order to acquire a whole lot of money. Some of you are going to be, you know, so surprised uh, when you recognize what was going on. So ladies and gentlemen, this year, and you know, it's not too late to apply or order a, a birthday reading because it's in your week. So we tailor it from the month in the week and, uh, um, you know, go look, it's $85. Um, dollars. But that birthday readings tell you everything that is coming up in every month, the secrets, things that is going to be happening behind the scenes. It gives you so much wonderful experience. So I want to say to you guys, thank you so much. Um, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So the video can catch the Alma rhythm. 
I gotta go. Namaste. Don't forget to go watch your weekly readings because this is just your year um, in advance. So don't forget to go watch your weekly readings.